again, YouTubers. So this is a review on a product from Dolce & Gabbana, and it is called the Perfect Mono Cream Eye Color. I have this one in the color Nude. This is what the packaging looks like here. It's pretty gold packaging. It says Dolce & Gabbana in through the bottom here. It is a smaller opening than what you are typically used to here. Um, I will insert a clip here of how I apply this. I do apply it two different ways in the clip. First, I apply it using my finger, then I apply it using a brush. I will say the key thing here is I tend to prefer to use a brush simply because the opening is so small and to get your finger down in there if you have nails is just a wreck. Uh, it is all I have on my eyes here today. It is all that I have on because I like it just to kind of do a quick and easy, just give me a little bit of basis to my eyes and yet it brightens your eyes up. This is a really great base. Um, you can purchase this through Sephora online. I have not found it in a Sephora store yet. There are 17 colors. You can also purchase it at high-end department stores like Neiman Marcus. Uh, I believe Nordstrom sells Dolce & Gabbana, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, <clears throat> It is $37, which is extremely pricey for a small amount, but it does work really well. Um, some of the things that they do mention about this is it is a smudge proof, water resistant 12 hour wear, which I would say is pretty true because once you put it on, it does not move. It is a great cream shadow on its own. It is great as a base for eyeshadows you're gonna use. It dries down very nicely. It has a smooth feel to it. It doesn't have that kind of slip to it that some eyeshadow bases have. Um, it just really is nice. They do have colors that are matte and some that are pearlized. I originally ordered three of these. This is the only one I kept. The other two, one of them was too gray. I will put the name here of the one that was too gray. And then there was one that was just way too dark. I wish they had more of a warm brownish tone one without a shimmer that's a matte. Um, I did just order one called Zamba Beige, I think it's called. So you'll see that in a haul coming up. And um, hopefully that one, it doesn't have too much of a shimmer for it because I would love to wear this with just a little bit of like a warm brown in the crease. And yes, I can use something like a shadow, but I just like the cream shadows, especially as we get into spring and summer. I really like those. Um, these products are really, really quite nice. Now I've had a lot of products that are similar to this, such as uh, the MAC paint pots and then the Makeup Forever, no, not Makeup Forever. Yeah, Makeup Forever aqua creams and then also the L'Oreal, Oh, what were they called? No, was it Maybelline? Yeah, it was Maybelline, the 24 hour express, like in the pot ones. Um, they all work very, very, very similarly. I would say the key to this is finding the color you want in each one. That is the key part of this. And so I have found some that I like in each one. I have a couple paint pots, I have a couple Makeup Forever ones, and I have a couple of the, Lan no, why do I keep wanting to say L'Oreal or Lancome? Maybelline ones. They all have their pluses. This, I would say, is most similar to the MAC Painterly paint pot, but better staying power. My only downside with paint pots is they tend to be a little bit too much of a slip to them and they break up on me throughout the day. So this of those is a much, much better choice. However, the price on this is also much, much higher. So you kind of have to take that in stride. Now, I will say that you need very little of this product. You just barely touch the brush in there, swirl it around, and you get the perfect amount of product. And the staying power really is the great part because paint pots don't tend to really stay. They're more cream shadows. They don't have the long wear to them. Um, maybe Mac has something new and I don't know it. But I really, really do like this. I wish there was more colors that worked for what I was looking for, uh, but I love this one and hopefully the new one that I'm gonna get is a good one too. So I will give you a little bit of my breakdown. Pigmentation on this is five out of five. They truly are what you see when you open them up. Um, the swatches online on Sephora's site, not so great, but when you open this up, what you see here is literally what you are going to be getting when you put it on your lid, which is pretty cool. Um, let me see if I can get a swatch. Again, it's that whole 
putting it on, like trying to get my finger in there without getting it on my nail and get it, yep, got it all in my nail. Ugh, now it's under my nail, that's pretty gross. All right, I'll be washing my hands after this. So if you take a look at this here, you can definitely see what you are seeing in the pot and what you are seeing on my hand are very, very, very close, very similar. I mean, you know what you're getting. These are a great match. So uh, I will say that the pigmentation on them is great because of that. It's a good solid five out of five. Texture on them, I think they are so smooth, so creamy, but they dry down to more of a shadow feel, as I was telling you, versus a silicone -y slip feel which is really nice. I love to just have more of that like dried down shadow feel on my lids. I don't want it to crease and move around and these don't do that. The texture is five out of five. Longevity stays on me all day, exactly where I put it. Awesome, as I said, doesn't crease, doesn't bleed, doesn't move, so easy. Longevity on these, it is a five out of five. They stay where you put them. They don't crease, they don't transfer, they don't move. It is just awesome. It is exactly where you put it in the morning. Application, with the exception of the fact like you just saw me getting some on my nail and having to stick a finger in there, as long as you have a brush, it just works phenomenal. You can use your finger if you don't have nails. For me, that didn't work out. But I think t once you figure out the best way you have to apply it, it is super easy to apply, pretty foolproof. So five out of five. Packaging, I really like the packaging. I think it's cute. I like the gold. Uh, top to it. I like the fact that down on the bottom here it does say Dolce & Gabbana. I like that it is a clear glass. Is that glass or plastic? Oh, it's plastic. It uh, looks like glass though. Packaging see-through so you can see through it. I think it's really cute packaging. Five out of five. Color selection. I'm going to take one away for color selection. I would say it's a four out of five because I found that it didn't have as many colors as I personally would choose but no company is gonna have all the colors that everyone wants. So it's a four out of five. Product overall in this, I would say it is a good solid four and a half out of five. I wouldn't give it a five out of five just simply because of the opening there makes it a little bit difficult and because of the fact that they don't have all the colors that I would like. That's kind of a hard one to take so I don't wanna take too much away, but I really do. If you find the colors you like, I really do love these. So I hope you guys found this review helpful and let's see here what else I am wearing. On my face, I have the Becca Backlit Primer. I have on the Giorgio Armani Lasting Silk Foundation. Tarte CC Corrector, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, La Mercier Translucent Powder to set. Uh, on my eyes, I have on the Benefit Gimme Brow. I just have on that cream shadow. Marc Jacobs Highliner with the Chanel Le Volume de Chanel Mascara. I have on Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer, Urban Decay, Gwen Stefani Blush Palette the two bottom right colors kind of mixed together. On my lips is Sephora Gel Lip Crayon in Nude. Not sure the full name of that. Um, it's the nude color. Then I've got on two Too Faced Melted Lipsticks. I forget the names of both of them. I will try and put those here as well, the names of those. Um, I have on the Terra necklace, which is three layers. I absolutely love that. I have on the enamel cuff, the Renegade cluster, the Sawyer stretch. This one stretches out. I totally just blanked on the name of this again. I always forget the name of that ring. Uh, and then the signature engravable. Everything else is my normal stuff. Oh, the shirt is from Go Couture. Um, and I think that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any other questions and thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great day. Bye.